hello awesome viewers how are you all welcome back to another video guys in this video we are going to discuss the functionality of is displayed whether the element is displayed or not okay so for that guys i have created a sample html page where i have taken first name the label and they have given the style as position absolute i have taken last name where they have given style as visibility hidden this will be hidden. So another one mail ID I took, I have given opacity as zero. Another thing I have taken address, I have given display block. Another thing I have taken submit, I have given display none. This will be very important because uh, we will be normally using element.e displayed. We use in our real time to, to check whether the element is displayed or not. We'll see here for this different scenarios, how is display will work. For that, guys, let me create one spec. So I'll create a file. Element is displayed. Dot js. All right. I'll take the I'll take the code from here. So I'll go to check ELE is displayed. I'll pick this here. So here in the describe block, I'll write check whether element is displayed. So I'll copy the same thing and I'll add it to test case. That's it. All right. So here I'll paste it like this. So instead of uh, iframe.html, it will be display.html. A simple uh, HTML page I have created for that. So I don't need to have an iframe here because I haven't created it. So yeah, now we got uh, we got f name lm submit so instead of this we have to put dot is displayed okay since it gives a boolean value let me store constant f name field equal to this one i'll give semicolon and then even if you don't do not sure so i'll write console dot log f name is displayed so here i'll add f name that's it i add like this for others also so let me add uh, is dot is displayed for this and let me write uh, constant l name for this that will be the last name so I'll copy this so i'll paste it here so l name is displayed that is l name so for submit also i'll remove this and put dot is displayed constant submit equal to submit is uh, displayed here i'll give submit okay we have two two more elements let us uh, see the elements so this is how our page looks like since we have given the style if they are either hidden or their visibility is hidden or the opacity is zero etc so we need text box of mail and address so I'll give right click inspect. If I do inspect, uh, it will be display entire thing here. So if I want a mail ID, the mail ID box is there, but opacity is zero. But yeah, uh, we need two things, right? Mail ID text box and address text box. Let me take mail ID. So mail ID is there. Okay. Let me copy this and I need address also. So let me go down and let's see address or the ID equal to address. Let me copy this address. So address field is also uh, getting uh, inspected. So I'll copy this also. So let me go back to my uh, uh, program. You can see I've copied this too also. What I'll do, I'll just copy this code, I'll paste it here. This one I'll give mail ID. And this one I'll give address. Here I'll put mail ID is displayed. I'll paste this one here. And address I'll put here and also here. Okay. So this one will give a Boolean value true or false. So now let me copy this. So instead of uh, copying and typing, I think it's just mail ID. And here it's just an address. 
that's it. Okay, so let me run this simple program. So here in the console itself, you can easily identify whether identify that the functionality of is displayed method. So I'll copy this program. So let me uh, rename, copy, and I'll go to package.json. I'll keep this here. So see, here, one more change I have to do. I have to put ID as address instead of uh, type. Now let us see this. Let me run properly. So now npm test run test Google. So now uh, Google has launched display.html. Now we'll see. Okay. So let me open this. So address is here true because it's visible. So they have given address equal to displayed equal to true. Okay. So now let us go top. So mail ID displayed okay you see the mail id here mail id is not displayed and what we have given in the mail id opacity equal to zero we get. so they have given the mail id they have given false okay and submit they have given false so here if you see submit button was after the last name it is not displayed so it is false okay so now let us let me go on the top so now here L name displayed equal to false. Okay. So L name also the text box is not present here. That is also false. Okay. So now let me go on the top. So F name displayed equal to true. If you see here, F name, okay. Let me type this one F name. It is there somewhere here. Okay. The code is here but still is it found out okay let me not give this triple line also let me just give position absolute okay let me reload this let us see where it will be so it is here okay it should be capitalized it should be displayed okay let me just run once again to see whether uh, everything is working properly send payment test google so it launched google chrome so it checked everything now we'll see one by one here. First, if you come from bottom, it will say address is displayed equal to true, which is true. Here we can see address. So mail ID submit last name we cannot see. So those should come false. Okay. So if we go in the top, little bit top, mail ID display equal to false. Correct. Which is other one, submit is false. We cannot see the submit button. That's true. L name is also equal to false because we cannot see the last name, but we can see the first name. First name displayed equal to true. Yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.